This will cause narcissists regret their decision to discard you and yearn for your comeback. Greetings to you all. We are thrilled to have you with us today on our channel. We have an enlightening video lined up for you. The topic at hand is things that will make narcissists regret and yearn for your comeback. We trust this video will offer you understanding and encouragement. So without further ado, let's get started. Narcissists are often plagued by a distorted viewpoint, failing to acknowledge the value in others until it's too late. This can turn into a brutal rejection where they belittle you and make you feel unappreciated. It's baffling how they start to reappreciate you after pushing you away in the aftermath of a shared relationship. This reappreciation usually takes place because we, as empaths, are selected. Not every past relationship is reevaluated by the narcissist, but as empathetic beings, we are distinctive. Some might claim that believing we're superior is narcissistic. However, given the presence of harmful individuals in the world, those inflicting damage without regret, we certainly stand higher. We make an effort to be our best selves, filled with love, kindness, and a desire to avoid causing harm to others. Regrettably, we often find ourselves entangled with toxic personalities. The world is replete with narcissistic individuals who cause harm and partake in destructive behaviors. If we, as empaths, refrain from such actions, we indeed stand above. Highlighting our empathetic abilities after a brutal rejection can lead to an awakening, a natural progression. Being chosen and empathetic is not a shortcoming, but a strength. We, as human beings, are valued more due to our empathetic nature, which distinguishes us from the rest. As you start on your path of recovery and accept the end of your relationship, the narcissist is watching you from a distance. They begin to reevaluate your worth, even obsessing over you, as you hold a significant place in their thoughts. They start to compare you with their current partner, recognizing your distinctiveness and exceptional nature. Reminiscences of the early stages of your relationship come to mind making them question their current state. While introspection is not a trait commonly associated with narcissists, they do start to reflect. They acknowledge their misstep in the relational chess game they perceive life to be. Upon this realization, they try to figure out a way back to you. But it's not always easy, especially when you're on a path of healing and have firmly shut them out. Their fixation on your life escalates, shown by constant checks on your social media, even if they've been blocked. They turn to multiple accounts, and even fake profiles, to keep track of you. This almost mimics the way friends keep up with each other's lives, leading them to dream about a reunion that remains out of reach. It's crucial to understand that once you've definitively closed the door on them, the narcissist undergoes a harsh reality check. If you've left any window of opportunity for them to re-enter your life, they will evaluate your worth again but continue on their path, knowing they can always fall back on you. That's why it's essential to maintain no contact and seal all exits. If communication is unavoidable, ensure it's not positive. Provide them with nothing but negativity. While achieving closure might be necessary, it's important not to give them any positive feedback. What I intend to communicate is that, on occasion, expressing a few words during the last stage of a relationship can provide closure. This was true for me. Articulating my feelings during those final moments marked the conclusion of the relationship, giving me the closure I needed. Narcissists do reevaluate your worth. You transform into an untouchable entity in their mind, something they crave but cannot attain. They genuinely wish to have you back. However, it is of utmost importance to stay resilient, maintaining spiritual and mental concentration to keep this objectionable person at bay. Implementing the right steps, shutting the door, locking, and sealing it, prevents their access to you and intensifies their reassessment process. They start to idealize you. You become matchless, the one they regret letting go, and they do entertain such thoughts. If you browse the comments section, you will discover individuals who have faced attempts at reconnection after 10 years or even more. I've come across tales of people who had fleeting interactions with someone and were approached for reconnection years later. This occurs because, as empaths, as chosen ones, our energy is unique and they cannot find it anywhere else. Devoid of any other options, they commence idealizing you in their minds. You become their obsession, someone they monitor through social media. 
as discussed earlier, you become the object of their fixation. The narcissist in my life recently attempted to connect with me using fake profiles, a subject I've touched upon in a video. They crave any residual attention from you due to your strong presence. Irrespective of whether they're reaching out through a fake account or an unfamiliar number, merely hearing your voice suffices for them. They derive pleasure from just listening to you. They can be odd and unusual, but it's vital to remember that your uniqueness in this world prompts them to reevaluate your value. The key point here is that if you remain steadfast on your path to healing and continue to enhance your value after the relationship, you'll only become stronger. This is a reality that I, along with many other survivors, have lived. If you're in the initial stages of recovery, wrestling with pain and trauma bonds, be assured that you will triumph over it. You'll start to rebuild your value and yourself, exploring new facets of life, potentially even seeking employment in another country. This was a significant achievement for me, something I wouldn't have accomplished without the narcissist. Launching new businesses and achieving various goals amplified my value, and it will do the same for you. While the narcissist dwells on the past, when they finally catch up and witness your progress because they're tracking your social media and other platforms, they'll discover you've improved since separating from them. This realization delivers a profound, harsh narcissistic wound. You've evolved beyond your time with them, while they stay stagnant, modifying their persona based on their current partner, feigning diverse likes and interests. They lack a genuine character of their own, behaving like social chameleons. Recognize that the reidolization or reevaluation that occurs post-discard is a testament to your value. Even if you haven't heard from the narcissist in some time, be aware that they're grappling with these thoughts internally. The emphasis should be on persistently enhancing your value. As you deepen your understanding of the narcissist through these resources and more, you're augmenting your knowledge. I devoted a significant amount of time to studying and trying to grasp the behavior of the narcissist. Some resources portray the narcissist as an unreachable, superior entity, but my experience painted a different picture, motivating me to share my insights on YouTube. I encountered a narcissist who, in spite of pretending to be virtuous, was far from it. Despite the many attempts at reconnection, which I now recognize as Hoover's, I sensed their regret over their actions. You may be experiencing similar situations, like receiving calls at odd hours. These calls may occur while they're with their new partner, hence the unusual timing. My suggestion would be to entirely block them, change your number if feasible, and cut off all contact. If you aim to inflict a severe narcissistic wound, that's the path to follow. I produced a video on how to silence and distress the narcissist if you're interested in knowing more. However, remember, you possess value. You're special, unique in the sight of God or the universe, however you choose to view it. Among a crowd of a hundred, you would be noticeable. Not necessarily due to your looks or other superficial traits, but because of your energy. Your energy is unmatched, and that's the core essence of this channel. As empathetic beings, we have the capacity to form deep connections with people. We even mirror the narcissist, which often triggers the initial discard, a subject I've delved into in prior videos. Alongside divine intervention, we play a role in the discard. Our ability to connect with people enables us to reach their essence, and at the core of a narcissist lies deep-rooted low self-esteem. While it's not my intention to deride anyone with low self-esteem, it's significant to highlight the disparity between the narcissist's outward projection of superiority and their actual self-image. The discard represents one of the most beautiful occurrences, as it presents the narcissist with the opportunity to recognize what they took for granted. Only after the discard, when they reassess and idealize you fully, do they grasp what they've lost. This realization typically arises post-discard or after you've severed ties with them. A prior mention would have been useful, as the same happens when you distance yourself due to the hurt they've inflicted. The timing of their awakening can vary. If you cut them off, they're thrust into reality immediately. If they're the ones who discarded you, they initially feel free and joyous. However, they soon discern the stark contrast between you and their new partner initiating the re-evaluation process. It's vital to comprehend your uniqueness, cherish who you are and the plentiful blessings you've been granted. Count your blessings. 
The efforts you exerted while with the narcissist weren't for naught. They will manifest in unexpected ways in your life, an experience I'd personally undergone. When I poured my love into the narcissist, I initially perceived it as squandered. However, I've observed that love returning to my life in various forms, not necessarily romantically. Due to my past grave error, I've become highly selective about who I let into my life. I urge you to avoid similar mistakes due to periods of loneliness, a feeling we all encounter. As you persist on your path to healing, taking time for yourself, you can redirect your energy towards other aspects of your life. This energy is potent. By channeling it into other areas like fitness, business, sports, or any other passion you possess, you can manifest remarkable things. While you're engaged in reconstructing yourself, the narcissist can't comprehend the value you're amassing, far exceeding their expectations. The objective is to become untouchable. We collectively lowered our standards to be with the narcissist, but now it's time to elevate them. If we allow anyone into our lives in the future, they must be extraordinary. There's no allowance for settling, especially in relationships. It's harmful to engage in a relationship before achieving full healing. Bear in mind that we are survivors of abuse, and recovering from such experiences requires time. The healing journey isn't a straight path, it's a sequence of highs and lows, devoid of continuous sunshine and rainbows. The memory of the abusive encounter with the narcissist will always remain with us. However, it's not our fault. We weren't gullible, we simply encountered someone to whom we offered our love and innocence. This very act of bestowing love and purity becomes the narcissist's downfall, as we transform into something they cannot obtain. We develop into the one thing they can't reach, signaling the beginning of the re-evaluation phase. Even if they discarded you, be confident that they're beginning to reassess your worth. A few weeks after the discard, especially if you maintain no contact and remain silent, you'll observe a shift. If you've reached out in the past, trying to mend and reignite the relationship, don't worry, it's a common reaction. They expected our attempts because they studied us extensively. However, they didn't anticipate our resilience. We rebound with enhanced vigor, preserving our resilience. We convert the negative experience into a benefit, molding us into more robust individuals. Let them rue over losing you and compare you to others, only to discover that you're unmatched. They won't find another like you, no matter where they search. In relation to comments about them finding another empath, remember that during the early stages of the relationship, they failed to appreciate the blessing of having an empath in their lives. They were likely still interacting with their ex, using photos of us to provoke them. They didn't recognize our worth then either. It's only after the relationship concludes that they understand our true value. As the proverb goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. The more you distance yourself, Concentrate on your personal growth, spiritually, physically, mentally, and advance on your path to healing, the more the re-evaluation process escalates. This re-evaluation ultimately shatters the narcissist as they observe you recuperating and becoming stronger. So, keep moving, sustain your faith, trust in the process, and recognize that the separation was a divine intervention. The universe planned for you to be liberated from the torment of the narcissist. Remember, it's never too late. I've heard from a subscriber who revealed that their father, after spending 20 to 30 years with a narcissist, discovered his soulmate in his 70s. They now traverse the globe together, living joyfully. Don't perceive the time spent with the narcissist as squandered, but rather as a phase of psychological adjustment. It has endowed us with a refined mindset, a more analytical viewpoint, and a profound comprehension of complicated situations. Rest assured, no matter where the narcissist might be, they are re-evaluating and re-idealizing you, yearning for your return. However, resist the temptation to grant them a second chance. Thank you all immensely for watching. We sincerely hope you found this information valuable and enlightening. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more discussions like this one. Remember, you're not alone on this journey and we're here to support you every step of the way. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care, and peace.